328. Unfortunately, Simon Phoenix was not coded. While you were sleeping, everyone in the city was installed code. It was a brilliant idea by Dr. Cocteau that an organically bioengineered microchip be sewn into the skin. Sensors all over the city can zero in on anyone at any time. I can't even conceive a visual of what you police officers did before it was developed. We work for a living. This fascist crap makes me want to puke. What do you think? You're scratching, caveman. You really think we'd let you go without control? Your code was implanted the second you thawed. Why didn't you just shove a leash up my ass? <laughs> this device was widely utilized in the urban wars of the late 20th century, referred to as a pistol. A Look, piece. I don't need a history lesson. Come on, Hal. Where the goddamn guns? You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality statute. What? Fuck you. Your repeated violation of the verbal morality statute has caused me to notify the San Angeles Police Department. Please <laughs> remain where you are for your own command. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuckers are fast, too. You are paid one credit for violation of the verbal morality. Illegal. Alcohol, caffeine, contact sports, meat. Are you shitting me? John Spartan, you are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality statute. What the hell is that? John Spartan, you are fined one credit. Bad for language, chocolate, gasoline, uneducational toys, and anything spicy. Zap, he had a full 10 seconds to figure out where to put the hole in your fucking head. John Spartan, this display of barbaric behavior was unacceptable even in Phoenix's presence or your own. I wonder about this shithead. If you think you've got this maniac under control, trust me. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Recha Hakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Love, Aquarium, that is peace to the elect. I want to do a short video, actually a kind of a response video off of, um, uh, this is Apostle Taha's channel, but it was actually a re-upload from the elders channel. It's called Upload, it says um, Salakia, all social media algorithms, algorithms are built to be pre uh, prejudiced against Jake. You know, so he was going into the fact that, you know, there's certain words that we say. And when you read the strike, that's, you know, that's actually what it pretty much says in a sense. Uh, when Because I read the strike and it was talking about um, they have um, computer-based design stuff to pick up, you know, certain words you say. Um, but that still never stopped me from getting flagged. <laughs> they find ways. That's why he says prejudice towards Jake. But anyway, this uh, clip that I put in from Demolition Man, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, the minute, um, as you see Sylvester Stallone and um, uh, this other guy, um, Wesley Snipes, when they cursed, so to speak, when they cursed, so-called cursed, used profane language, they automatically got a, a ticket. Now, this all ties in with this, what you see on YouTube and everything with uh, their design. You know, look, Esau put these things in his movies because he's only showing you what's coming to pass. Now, it seemed like science fiction back in 1993, okay? But now in 2019 and even 2015 and, and even earlier, they were microchipping people. They are microchipping people. So this is for total control. This is the New World Order, okay? And this is why you've seen, when you watch the movie, they was talking about they had Taco Bell um, in certain restaurants. Uh, they was doing away with meat. And as you see now, they're trying to do, do deal with everything vegetarian-based. So they're pushing this New World Order. Also, uh, the chip will also control your diet. You know, you can't have certain foods, especially if you're overweight or you have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes. They, what they're saying now is we have the answers for all the cures and all the sicknesses. And this is what they're going to push, you know, out of out of chaos or that chaos, out of chaos. Okay, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11 says um, that Satan should get an advantage of, of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay. And that's one of his devices. And what he's going to do is cause, cause all kind of hell and chaos so he can come 
with that RFID microchip. It's all about the total control. It's all about the end game. Okay? That's what this is all about. It's all about the end game. Or oh, what, uh, what's his name? Nicholas. Um, I forgot his name. God, Nicholas something. He exposed David Rockefeller. Okay? So like it's Aaron Russo. Uh, I believe his name is Aaron Russo. Um, I guess one of the Rockefellers or something like that. When you watch that uh, video. Um, so they have this in motion. That's why Hollywood... Is wizard based, you know, they, they deal with the left hand side. Okay. So by dealing with the left hand side, they already promote things and push thing put things in the making before it happens, you know. They had a movie called AI Artificial Intelligence, where you had the the car talking. They're trying to make artificial robots, which they pretty much have, you know, so they only promoting things that they're actually gonna come to pass with, okay? So you know, we can see that according to the scriptures, this mark of the beast microchip is the truth. Okay, I mean, this is we see this to be um, the um, mark of the beast because that's part of the new world order. Okay, out of the new world order, when you read uh, Job the twentieth chapter, I believe it goes into that. Out of the new world order, you know, they they're trying to create a new government, a new world order, a new monetary system. You know, so part of that new world order is the monetary system. You know, you don't think they're going to have a new world order with nothing, with, with paper cash running around, paper currency. The new world order means everything changes. Okay, healthcare, you know, the government, the, uh, the monetary system. Everything you know changes because they're going to be the ones that come in and say, we can clean it up, we can fix the problem. That's the first thing they're going to say. So let's go to Revelation 13 and 6. We've all read it, but we got to read it again. It says, um, and he calls of both all, both small and great, and he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. And you saw that in Demolition Man. You know? They were so-called, um, one was a prisoner and one was a police. That was the free and the bond, so to speak, Okay. And all of them had microchips. <laughs> so it didn't matter. They know what they're talking about, man. These these elites, they know what they're doing. They're actually talking, to, speaking with Satan. Okay, on the left-hand side, who's controlled by the Most High. Okay. It says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So it's, it's going to be a choice. You can, as long as you get chipped, you can get it in your right hand. And these chips... By the time they're really produced, they're going to be so small, okay, and so technological, just like in your cell phone, man. You got a little tiny-ass chip in there that do a whole lot of stuff. You know, they had to, in your computer, they had the Pentium, the Pentium 4, 5, you know, all these Pentium chips. Now, and now they got the technology where you got a chip small of a grain of, as a grain of rice, and, it, and it'll probably be smaller than that, Okay. That's technology. Hell, they got cameras like that. They got uh, satellites out of space that can zoom in on, on the nickel, you know? Well, come on, man. To receive a mark in it right in the forehead. So uh, this priest of Baca, the House of Israel, said, well, what if you take it out? Once that tissue grow around your, your hand, that, that small grain of rice, <clears throat> which will probably be even smaller, you won't be able to see the chip or know where the hell it's at. Okay, and you you would need a special surgeon to try to cut it out, but it's too late. Once you get that thing, you're done. And by the time it grows around the artery, they're not going to risk taking that thing out and causing more trouble. And that surgeon may have a chip himself. He ain't taking a risk. He's going to lose his license and his career. They're not going to do that, man. Okay. Revelation 14 and 9. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Uh, let's go on. Verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. 
So you have ISUBK, the general, IUIC, you got all these different groups saying, that, well, you know, uh, it's Christianity, you know? Oh, wait a minute. How are you going to, the Lord, well, let's keep reading. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Okay? So if that was the case, if Christianity was the mark of the beast, then we would have been tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence, and it says here, in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb. So if we was tormented, I mean, if we was following Christianity, even 500 years ago, right, we would have been tormented with fire and brimstone. We would have got the nuclear destruction, you know, the second death. But you didn't see that back then. So this had to be a future prophecy. So how the hell could Christianity be the mark of the beast? Because that was the case. We would have had the mark of the beast. And let's say we had the mark of the beast back then reincarnated to the day. None of us would be saved. None of us could get delivered. You know, so a lot of things is not adding up by saying the mark of the beast is embargo, Christianity. You got groups saying it's the, the buy and save. It's called about nation against nation. Just all kind of madness. Sharp as a lot of you guys are that know the Bible, y'all know the truth as Israelites and know a lot about who Esau is and everything else. This one stumbling block has got you tripped up, man. You know? Let's read that again. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. This is in the book of Revelation. Okay, although there's some things that go back, you know, but this is an end time prophecy. You know, all through the scriptures, you know, you got end, end time prophecies. Okay, and this is an end time prophecy. Okay, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Okay, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Okay, in the presence of the holy angels. And this word indignation is anger aroused by something unjust, unworthy, or mean. Okay, angry. The Lord's anger, man, you know, that's what you're going to get, the Lord's anger. And that word also goes back to indignant, okay, that's what it actually is, in, indignant. When the etymology of this word, indignant, indignant, okay, it means indignant, unworthy, okay, unworthy. So... When you read 14 and th uh, 10, it says, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, of his anger, you know, unworthy, uh, you being unworthy, anger, you didn't stand the test. Which really, if you get the chip, you will reprobate, you know. This is why we know it's more than the law, you know. This is about uh, faith. At the end of the day. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. I can't say that enough. Okay. Christianity. How, how the hell is that Christianity? And right here it says the mark is in the right hand or forehead. This is Jake thinking too far ahead, man. He doesn't know when it's spiritual or when it's physical. You know. It wouldn't even have to say uh, in the right hand or forehead. Or it might or just say in the right hand. But why say or the forehead? You know, the box says it's you know, you know, it's your hand, how you grasp it or whatever, and your mind is how you accept it in. These are guys just making things up. And then when you go deep into the word karax, it just means uh, impale, okay? Like Yahweh shot got, uh, got man. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay for that sin, which is, means destruction. Anyway, I just wanted to bring the fact that this movie kind of brought it to light, you know, about the cursing and the New World Order, so-called cursing, you know, the New World Order, how they ticket you for everything, how they setting up speed tickets that come to your house, okay, how they got, they got camera tickets, you know, these speed tickets, the police don't even have to pull you over no more, you know, they digging up streets, putting all kind of electronic, you know, devices in the streets, you're going to get a speeding ticket that's going to come in the mail. So all kinds of things get ready to uh, uh, happen. You know, and us at Great Millstone, we're pushing the true prophecy. Because without pushing this mark of the beast, nobody would be warned. 
These other groups are staying away from it. They're not even speaking on it. Even the ones that know it, they're not even speaking on it. We're the only ones pushing this, man. That's all I have on that. Shalom.